Alhamdulillah wa salatu salam ala Rasulillah. Great treat today. The two most important books of hadith in the sense of authenticity. And I want to be clear about this because in the books of hadith, every book has its own value, its own unique characteristics, its own, um, you could say, uh, piece of the puzzle it brings to the hadith sciences. So the two most authentic books as far as the chains and the wordings go, it's Al-Bukhari and Muslim. And today we're going to talk about the best, most accurate print in accordance with the manuscript of these two essential books. Before I, I get into that, I do want to explain something. Just because Bukhari and Muslim are the most authentic as far as the chains go, it does not mean that other books of Hadith are not essential. For example, the Muslim the Imam Ahmad or the Muatta Imam Malik, each one has its own unique thing. The Musnad is one of the largest early books of Hadith. It contains so much more than Bukhari and Muslim or even all the six books put together. So that is an essential book. The Muatta is very early. It's earlier than Bukhari, Muslim or the Musnad. So the chains are very short. It has its own value. Some of the books that you see here like Sunan al-Kabir or the Musanaf ibn Abi Shayba or these uh, books like Al-Awsat, uh, these have large amounts of the aqwal of the statement of the Sahaba that would not be found in, for example, the Kutub al-Sitta. So they're very valuable to look at context and other narrations. Every book of Hadith has its own unique value. Sunan Abi Dawud, probably the best organized to teach fiqh and so on. Having said that, no doubt to the great status of Bukhari and Muslim. The Sahih of Imam al-Bukhari, which uh, يعني, is uh, well known by Sahih al-Bukhari, but the actual name is Jamia al-Musnad al-Sahih. And the Sahih of Imam Muslim, which is also the Musnad al-Sahih of Imam Muslim. I have here with me the two most accurate prints. So if you're going to get Bukhari and Muslim, I would suggest getting these. This is the print of Sahih al-Bukhari, and I've covered this before, so I'm not going to go into detail here. Uh, this is the print of Darul Ta'seel uh, from Saudi Arabia. It is an excellent print. Again, what I am going to suggest is to make sure, if you get it, that it is Taba'a Athaniya or later. I need a second print or later, because in the first print they made many, many mistakes. I have it here in one volume. You can get it in many volumes as well. The print's a little bit small, but the great thing is the whole thing, it's not a summary, the whole thing is in one volume. You can take it with you if you're traveling. You can see that I've already been reading through it, putting my notes. And I have many different prints of Bukhari. I have prints that I've had for many years that have a lot more notes. But this is definitely the most accurate that's available today. I have heard of scholars that are working on great works towards uh, any, uh, any better prints and so on. But from what we have available today, this is the most accurate print of Sahih al-Bukhari, Dar al-Ta'seel's Tab'a Thaniya, and from the second print onwards. Don't get the first print. Now, we've discussed that already, but today I'm going to introduce to you the same for Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim is maybe underrated by many people because Bukhari seems to take all the attention, but no doubt it has its own excellent characteristics. And from one of them, as many scholars have said, it is definitely better organized in an easy way to teach. So Bukhari has its own unique way of organizing and benefits from that. But if you're teaching, Sahih Muslim is definitely easier to go through. Um, the Sahih of Imam al-Muslim. This is the same printer, Dar al uh, And I wanted to get uh, Tab'a Thaniya. Alhamdulillah, a dear friend of mine was able to find a Tab'a Thalitha. This is the third print. And this was printed in 2021, so it's a recent print, uh, it's excellent, don't get their first print. Once again, it has many uh, print errors and so on, but if you can get a Taba'a Thaniya or Thalitha, and it's a second or third print from Dar al-Tasil of Sahih Muslim, this is the most accurate available copy. Now, you could get a Sultaniya for Bukhari and so on, some of the earlier manuscript types. Uh, but most of them will be PDFs or scanned and printed. Uh, it will be hard to read, difficult to understand. I don't suggest it. I suggest, uh, and again, I'm not getting paid by the publisher here, but from my own research, I have found the Bukhari and Muslim, best prints 
most accurate in accordance to manuscripts. Darul Tasil Taba Athania Aw Thalita. And from the second or third onward prints, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it that we benefit from these great valuable books of hadith and benefit from the accuracy of the manuscripts that they have done a great job of evaluating. Many times people don't pay enough attention to that. They just like the nice print and colors and cream paper, which I love as well. But the most important thing is to know that what you're reading doesn't have errors. It is the most accurate in accordance to the original handwritten manuscripts. This is why Darul Tasil has done an amazing job. May Allah accept it from them. Wa jazakumullahu khairan.